How goes it all? Welcome back to Patterson Oak Properties. Hopefully you guys have a great and exceptional evening. Well, this article is very, very interesting because it definitely shows how one um, yet um, can have the right, yet simple investment can take you a very, very long way, family. According to the article that I read the other day, Lewis Heron um, spent $2,300 on an acre of teen, and that was a very beautiful time to buy real estate. He knew um, between 2009 and 16. He knew he was getting a good deal, but he never predicted the property in Flagstaff, Arizona, which is a very beautiful town. Um, a 30 minute drive from the Grand Canyon would, be, uh, would become over six times more valuable in less than a decade. Now the acre, which currently holds two tiny homes is worth up to $15,000. And that is what it's all about at the end of the day, family in the United States of America. Seeing an asset or potential asset and placing your money and time into it in order for you to see it increase in value all at the same time. The article also stated that when Lewis Heron was 21 to 22 years old at the time, he had no idea that he could even buy property. Unfortunately, most of us did not, including myself. He, started, he stated that I, ste I stepped foot on the property and knew I had to take advantage of this opportunity, even if I didn't uh, do anything with it, he added. He said, and I quote, I spent all of my savings on this land like Nipsey Hussle stated, all money in and no money out. He stated he stated that despite its spike in value, he's unlikely to sell it anytime soon. The tiny houses combined to create his bedroom and living spaces, and it's only 30 minutes from his full-time desert hiking business, which he started three years ago. So before I go on, one thing all I have to say is that it sounds like, in a sense, that Louis Heron has created his own paradise. The article stated he um, how he acquired the land and why it's risen so much in value. 2011, Heron dropped out of uh, Ball State University to follow his wonder wonderless. He says he washed dishes in a restaurant near Capitol Park before becoming a tour guide for park employees. In June 2012, he took a similar role at Glacier National Park in Montana before selling to Arizona right outside the Grand Canyon in 2020, in 2013. He stated, and I quote a friend of his, um, $1,000 for three acres of land uh, with another friend. The trio bought the parcel, uh, giving each person an equal piece of an equal um, price. Before I go on, this is how you next door, by having the right people around you. Not all about, so stated that Heron says he purchased the first um, prefabricated tiny house in 2015, uh, but did, didn't actually move onto the land until May 2017. Following an increase in rent, rent prices, the house was too small to fit most standard home amenities, so he bought a second prefabricated tiny home from a neighbor and divided it up his living, living quarters between the two structures. And that's just one thing that, you know, this is how a lot of people used to live uh, back in the day. When I say back in the day, I'm talking about 1930s, 1940s, and most people didn't even have their own bedroom. It was normal for five to six people to sleep in one bedroom at a time. If you even go to these, a lot of the old colonial houses that are throughout the United States of America, you will see that. So the concept, in a sense, is still fairly new in the United States of America in regards to somebody having their own bedroom, garage, et cetera, and so forth. One house has the bathroom, laundry room, and main be bedroom, Heron says. The other has a kitchen, living space, and storage. And one thing I can say is that simple yet comfortable living lifestyle is becoming more and more of the norm nowadays, especially in today's world of gentrification in all major um, and smaller cities, um, especially with the 2020 pandemic. You know, so just this is something to take into consideration. The article also stated that last year in, um, in 2022, the median price for a one bedroom rental in Flagstaff was about $1,300 per month. That's for one bedroom. Data from rent, rent, rentdata.org shows in 2013 when Heron bought the land was about um, $852. So there goes inflation, $852 per month. So there goes inflation. That is a 65.5% increase in median rent over the eight years. For comparison, the median price of a one bedroom rentals nationwide rose 53.5% and Redfin report. The Grand Canyon, which is such a beautiful place um, to visit, is also increasing in value. I love the Grand Canyon, it's a beautiful area to go visit. If you've never been there, I definitely recommend you going there. In 2011, four at around at and around the National Park, the National Park Service says only 4.5 million people visited in 2021, um, but those visitors are spending a lot more money. The park's gateway regions crashed in um, um, and um, 700 cashed in 710 million dollars 
through tourism last year. And this is one aspect of it, especially as people are just going on vacation, more and more family. Um, and if you didn't, I think I blacked out for a second, but um, in 2021, the park cashed in $710 million through tourism last year. This is one aspect of real estate that doesn't get talked about enough. The tourist aspect of it, tourism industry, especially after the 2020 pandemic, people are going on vacation more and more than ever. I know I am. The article ended on this note saying that in August 2020, Heron and his then partner spent 15,000 uh, yurt on the property. It brought in 27,600 uh, between August 2021 and August 2022 as, a air, as an Airbnb rental. When they split, Heron's ex took ownership of the yurt um why you rt heron says he wants to build a replacement or multiple replacements soon he'll have steep comp competition and there are at least 2,000 vacation rentals in flagstaff according to the rental analytics company air um air dna and airbnbs and tourist locations like flagstaff and the grand canyon are the best places for airbnbs uh, heron says some adjacent slices of land host up to six airbnb list listings each Financially speaking, Heron is betting that his land's value will continue to rise, but he says that's not the point. He's curated his off the grid experience as a testament to his appreciation for living off the land. The Grand Canyon arguably is the most incredible backdrop in the country, he stated. He says, I love living on the, its doorstep, doorstep and taking trips on a whim and sleeping under the stars in the Grand Canyon, and I couldn't agree with them more. There's something so peaceful if you've never been to the desert, it's one of my favorite experiences in life, and I definitely pull everybody to do their darndest to try to get that experience at least once in their lives because it's very peaceful, and that's why I love living in it. So, anyway. On that note, family, if you do not realize, oops, I think, uh, make sure everything is squared away. But anyways, uh, if you don't know Patterson Hill Properties, uh, we wholesale real estate on a multitude of levels, uh, mostly in the in Pennsylvania area between the, um, Harrisburg, Allentown, Pennsylvania, and um, Reading, Pennsylvania. So give us a shout out, uh, check us out, website, all that great stuff, and we'll go from there. If you're a stock market investor, crypto investor, individual retirement account investor, don't forget to check out Weeble stash acornscrypto.com. Coinbase, all those platforms, you'll be able to make some money specifically with Weeble, makes extra, um, get a couple of free stocks. A part of the, um, I am a part of the Gold Standard Partners. We now only have the opportunity to buy crypto, but you have the opportunity to buy non fungible tokens known as NFT thing, make money off their NFT and um, crypto purchases and all that great stuff. And on that note, do the great three free things, like, share, and subscribe. As I always say, make money moves so you can live like a fool and he's enjoying his life. You should, and I implore you all to do the same.